Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we have a little bit of a strange challenge on our hands. Now, a lot of you across the course of my videos and live streams have requested that we bring the Tinka and the Monstrosity out to the RC Backyard map at the same time. So that is exactly what we're doing today. Now we've got our Tinka right here, and we have our Monstrosity right here. Both are in the standard configuration that they come as stock. Quote unquote stock. I say stock in air quotes because, I mean, come on. Like, what's stock about both of these things? Now, we are going to make sure that the Tinka is fully built all the way down to its mud tires. And that's really all we can kind of do, apart from, like, changing the wheels if you desire. Now, the monstrosity, on the other hand, is getting the all-the-power engine, the Mudrunner gearing, it's getting the Mudrunner suspension tune, and it's getting the 189-inch tires. Now, when we do that, or at least once we've done that, I want to go ahead and just warn you guys that it may cause a lot of issues and a lot of glitches. So we're going to leave the garage in the Tinka first. And we're going to go ahead and get this guy just driven right out to the street. Can it drive under this car? We've attempted this before, but it's resulted in a couple of glitches. Let's see. That- oh god. Um. Camera? Hello? Okay, that didn't go well. All of a sudden, it just started randomly getting damage and wouldn't let me see it. So, I kind of figured that, that it was time for some issues. So, let's get this guy driven out to the road. It will take a second because the Tinka itself is extremely slow. And since this map makes normal vehicles look like the size of RC cars, it makes the Tinka look like the size of a micro machine, pretty much. Now, like, look at that mailbox. That mailbox is a skyscraper compared to the little Tinka. So you can imagine how incredibly tiny it's going to look once we bring this beast outside. Now, I do wonder, though, can I drive the monstrosity over this car in the driveway? We've tried this multiple times, and nope. Oh, God. Okay, so it goes into the car, and then the car grabs it and shakes it around a little bit, and then causes a bunch of damage to it. So I think that's reason enough for me to avoid that particular car. So, this is gonna be your side-by-side -side comparison, if for whatever reason you needed one. And you know, I never thought I needed one until I saw the way it looked just now. And now... I am wondering how I went so long without having a side-by-side -side comparison of these two vehicles. Wait a minute. 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 Let me get closer to the Tinka with the monstrosity. Because then we'll be able to have just a little bit better of a... Okay. There we go. Oh my god. Bro. 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 Hold on. Hold on just one second. Look at that difference. Look at the size of the tire versus the size of the entire Tinka. The whole thing compared to the monstrosity. What the heck, dude? That is, um, that is not okay. Or very okay, depending on what, depending on what you consider to be okay. That's either very okay or very not okay. Now, Let's get on to, well, I would say, I would say some challenges, but our first challenge is going to be to see what happens when we literally just hook the Tinka up to our winch, and, uh, you're coming with me, bud. I also want to see if it drives after this. I doubt it, but, oh no! Are you serious? It pulled us over. Like, legit, it pulled us over. I'm like, what? That's not freaking normal. It, like, swung under the truck. Bro, where are you going? Hang on. We might be able to drive back up and over this car. Because I've seen Diesel do it. Oh, so if you come at it from this direction, you can do it. This is the first and only time this Tinka has ever been up on top of this car. And probably the only time it ever will be on top of that car. Unless another monstrosity pulls it up there. Where are you going? Bro! That thing is just flying around all over the place. There is no way that there's going to be any drivable 
Tinka left when this is all said and done. It's also now stuck in my frame. To give you an idea of how hard it's been swinging around back there, it is 100% fully stuck in my frame. All right, let me make this corner real quick and send it. Oh, oh my god. I've never had a response like that from that particular fence jump. We might be able to start it now, though. But here's my question. Now that we're over here, can I kind of bring the Tinka into a different environment? I might have just given the Tinka a ticket to a brand new environment that it's never been in before. Uh, what happens if I change trucks? So I'm literally one with the monstrosity now. I, I, like, I can't let go. I am literally one with the monstrosity now. Look at my health. But you know what's the best part about that entire thing? I haven't popped any tires. At all. I have not popped a single tire. That is the best part about that entire thing, is the fact that I have not popped a single tire. Okay, so we've got both of these back here at the garage, and I want to see if this thing can actually make it through some of the course. Now that we've had a little bit of fun with the actual, uh, the actual size comparison to the two, we know the monstrosity can make it not only through the course, but around multiple areas of the map that it's not necessarily supposed to be in. What the heck happened just then? Bro, that doesn't make any sense. Is that cone movable? Ha! I can move the cone. That's amazing. That is absolutely freaking amazing. Okay, this thing I doubt will be able to make it through most of the track. I feel like anytime there's a jump, it's just gonna go and just like dive straight down and that'll be it. But it's also completely worth trying at least half of the track to see what happens. Now, I am going to do the track a little bit out of order because I am going to just drive straight on, go straight through the sandbox, back around it, and go into the pool. That's not exactly the usual line. That's not the normal line that you would take if you were actually trying to set a lap time out here. But I'm more interested in seeing which obstacles the Tinka is capable of doing than I am in trying to set a lap time because I feel like trying to set, it, trying to set a lap time in this thing would be kind of a bad idea and kind of a huge mistake now that body of water right there while it may be a puddle to like everything else it's a whoa all i wanted to do was like i wanted a slight pull of the winch i didn't want the biggest of yeets Jeez. can you move like at all like, bro, that would be so freaking great if you could, like, actually drive and not cause a bazillion issues. I mean, we're just kind of inching our way through the sand pit right now. There's not much to write home about in terms of what we're doing. Ah, yes. Interesting content. But no. Oh, there we go. Picking up speed. All right. Come on. 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 Oh, there we go. I know we're kind of off of the main line, but... Easy. In fourth gear, it rips. In fourth gear, it's great. But if you go, oh no. If you let it go back down to first, for whatever reason, it sinks and it is done. Yeah, even low minus with the lockers on, it's like, nope, sorry. I've had enough. Now, let's try this last little bit here. It's almost like a parkour section with the ramps. I wonder if it's like, if it's gonna have enough oomph to get up and over these ramps. It might not even have enough tire. That's the thing, is it might not even have enough tire to make it up these wooden ramps, whereas almost every other vehicle would be like, oh, ah, that's no big deal. Now, let's see if you can bump your way up these. Really? It bumped it all right. It bumped right into it rather than up and over it. All right, let me back up just a tad bit. Here we go. Or, like, not. Yeah. Or just not. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna sit. It's, uh, wow. You try to hit that straight on, and it's like, yeah, we're just not accepting new vehicles today. That's just not what we're doing. Now, there is one thing that I want to see if I can do. One thing. And for that, I'm going to have to take the Tinka somewhere that it can't go by itself. Now, I'm not going to use the monstrosity for this because the monstrosity I'm going to use for something different. I'm going to get a base 2017 L400. Like, no modifications at all. I'm going to bring the Tinka with me. I'm sure it's going to, you know, I'm sure it's going to fight with me a little bit on it, but it'll be fine. Let's take you up and over this way. Now, 
I don't know if this will be high enough, but real quick, let me grab the monstrosity and see if I can back up to those pallets, almost like a loading dock. Those of you that have, yeah, some of you might know exactly where we're going with this, and I'm gonna try to see, I mean, because think about it, the monstrosity's bed, if you want to call it that, is a packable surface for cargo, so in theory, I might be able to pack the Tinka on it. I don't know if I can or not, but it's totally worth finding out. Pack that. It's actually a lot lower down than you might think. Like, a lot lower down than you might think. The only thing is I'm really going to need that running start. If I don't have a running start, I am doomed. I'm absolutely doomed if I don't have a running start at this. Come on, little Tinka, let's go! Alright, up and over the plywood. Here we go. Up the pallets. Um, hi, buddy. You doing okay back there? You look a little iffy. You look like you've seen better days. <laughs> oh, dude, super lucky, though. Super lucky, though, because it's now on its wheels. All right, brilliant. So, the engine's broken, but that's... Ah, it's fine. Abso-freaking-lutely fine. Okay. So, I might be able to make this work. I might be able to make this work. I'm just really concerned about not getting enough speed. So, we're going to send it. I was about to say, I swear if I miss, I am going to be so incredibly upset if I miss. All right. So, now we're back there. We should be on part of the packable surface. Repaired. And swapped the monstrosity. <laughs> Packed. No way! Yo, I want to see those tiny wheel chocks on the back of the- Yo! We packed the Tinka on the monstrosity! That is the most brilliant thing I've ever done with the monstrosity, I think. Oh my god. Dude, this is like the best thing ever. I've packed the freaking Tinka on the monstrosity. I did not even realize that was possible. Bro, that is absolutely incredible! I just want to climb back up on top of the car again, because that's just, like, the most satisfying thing. Yeah, parking the monstrosity on top of a car with a Tinka packed on the back is probably the, one of the most satisfying things I've ever done in this game. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.